What's going on, everyone? I'm just a typical average American here today to react and learn about Nanaimo bars, a Canadian classic, from what I understand. This, these Nanaimo bars just keep popping up when I'm conducting my, my Canadian YouTube research. Somehow the Nanaimo bar pops up, so I keep hearing about it. I know it has something to do with chocolate nuts in a bar form. You have my attention. It's good enough for me. <laughs> but seriously, this is something that I've thought about and wanted to learn how you make it. Maybe why it's called a Nanaimo bar, why it's so popular in Canada. So all that stuff. Uh, I'm very interested. So I found this little video here uh, where this fellow cooks various Canadian dishes. Today it's a Nanaimo bar. Perfect. So let's take a look. Okay, hey, welcome to Canada. It's the Great White North. I'm in Muskoka, which is like a couple hours north of Toronto. Okay. Um, I have an idea. I'm going to start a new series on this channel. It's going to be called Anti Chef Cooks the World. I just have a fascination oh. with learning about different countries and cultures and foods, and uh, even made it a goal last year. Uh, okay, yeah, yeah. The, the, the world cultures and countries, great. Yes, that's beautiful. I want Canadian cuisine, Canadian junk food <laughs> today. <laughs> that's what I want. While we were all cooped up to memorize every single country that there is through oh, this like, wow. country quiz that's available online. I'll link it down below, try it huh. out yourself, see what you can get. I'll admit that a couple of years ago, I was pretty oblivious to a lot of this stuff, but you know, moving to Europe just kind of. Okay, you know, I don't wanna discredit this guy's like beautiful story of exploring the world's food, but uh, oh, by the way, this video is by Anti-Chef and uh, I really like him. So kudos to him for making this, but I might jump ahead a little bit just cause. I want to see the Nanaimo bar. I, I can't help it. Or Zed in Canada. But since I'm here right now in Canada, a country that I'm from, um, I'm going to kick off episode one making one of my favorite treats of all time, something yes. that I grew up eating. Okay. Nanaimo bars. Now, Nanaimo bars are from Nanaimo, which oh. is on the West Coast. It's a city on Vancouver Island. Like, this is a no- Oh, 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 okay. I thought it was like a person or something, maybe. I don't know. Nan I don't know who Mr. Nanaimo is, but I thought maybe he invented the bar. It's a place. It's a place in Canada. That makes sense. Also, uh, from what he's saying, this is kind of uh, possibly a Canadian staple of childhood, something Canadians grew up eating and uh, maybe ha have a feeling of nostalgia towards, perhaps? I like that. Bake treat. It's like a three-layer chocolate on the top. This cust Wait, what did he say? And, like, this is a no-bake treat. No-bake. No-bake. I mean, I've heard of the no-bake stuff. So you just mix it all together and squish it into a bar, and that's it? You don't have to, okay. Does that, is there a benefit to not baking it? Or is that just like cool? Or does it do something to the taste or whatever? Sounds good to me. It's like a three layer chocolate on the top, this custard layer in the middle. And on the bottom is like this crumb layer. There is this huh. uh, internet debate. This is recent uh, where <laughs> a bunch of people were arguing about the correct ratio when it comes to these three layers. New York Times. Very controversial, big debate, the ratio of the layers of the Nanaimo bar. Very, very cutting edge stuff here. Times came out with this recipe and then Canadians saw it and they got all up in arms. Huh. Uh, I don't know, I don't care, uh, life's too short. But I did oh, see boy. the photo in question and I will agree that that does not look anything like a Nanaimo bar. Really? This is the, uh, the Americans paltry attempt to simulate the Nanaimo bar. Utterly failed. Canadians were up in arms. <laughs> I wish I had heard about this when it was happening. That's pretty funny. Is so the ratio's wrong? Is the bot the bottom layer looks very thick? Is it just not supposed to be that thick? Is that what it is? The proportions are all wrong. It's all out of whack. It's okay. offensive and okay. such a disgrace to my dessert heritage. Okay. Fair enough. <laughs> Anywho, what better place to find a Nanaimo bar recipe than the city of Nanaimo's website? Yeah. So that's what we're gonna make today. 
Hold on. If I look at that picture right there um, of the Nanaimo, Nanaimo bar, excuse me, graham crumbs, cocoa and coconut, sugar, bu sugar and butter, custard, I'm not exactly sure what custard is, chocolate layer. Oh, wow. That bar looks very professionally made almost. Very nice. Yeah, I can see the proportions do look a little more correct somehow. This website. So that's what we're going to make today. Let's go inside and make it because I'm cold because it's okay. Canada. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Half a cup of butter. Whoa! I'm sorry. I didn't expect there to be little Canadian things like this. Who has a butter? I don't know if this is Canadian or not, but I've never seen a butter like this, like a block. It's not a long rectangle. It's a, it, it's like a brick. Anyway, <laughs> I don't know. I think I'm getting a little distracted here. Half a cup of butter, quarter cup of sugar, five tablespoons of cocoa powder. Okay. One beaten egg, one and three quarter cup of graham cracker crumbs. Oh, graham cracker crumbs. That's kind of nice. Americans, I guess the only thing I think of is s'mores, which Americans love. There's not enough stuff that you get to put like graham cracker crumbs into, at least in my life. I like this. I like where this is going. Half a cup of finely chopped almonds. This took mm. like 10 minutes. One cup of grated coconut. Coconut. Okay, here's everything I need for the bottom. So I didn't know that. Coconut is like a quintessential Nanaimo ingredient. I did not know that. Lair. So I need a bowl. We're gonna go over the stove. <laughs> oh boy. Ooh. Whoa. Whoa. Okay. Saucepan with boiling, simmering water. On goes the bowl. Add the oh, butter, sugar, wow. cocoa powder. You get to do this uh, double boiling. Melt your stuff in a in a bowl on a boiling pot thing. Wow. If I was into cooking more, um, I would do that. But since I'm, I'm not really, personally, I just admire it whenever it happens. Wow, look at that. With my ladybug spatula, I'm going to get the butter melting and mix it together with all this stuff. If you were smart, you could probably <laughs> cut up the butter into cubes and then- You know, right here, <laughs> you know, some Americans might take that right there, that butter block covered in chocolate, uh, it might just eat that right there. That might look good. Y you could fool some Americans and just tell them that right there is a Nanaimo bar. They might eat it. <laughs> and add it in that way, but for some reason I added a big old block. You don't need to do that. <laughs> Lower the temperature a bit and then add the egg. Cook okay. that egg a little bit and thicken it. And huh. then take this off the heat. Step aside. Mix. So there is like heating involved and mixing and melting things. I thought we were literally gonna dump a bunch of stuff into a bucket and stir it up and put it into a block. <laughs> so this is much this is much nicer. This is much better. Mix in the graham cracker crumbs, coconut, and the almonds. Okay. Mix it all in. Oh wow! So you need a baking pan, uh, preferably eight by eight. This is eight by something larger than eight, yeah. but um, that's what I have, ungreased. And I'm gonna add the bottom layer into this. Oh yeah, this is just this is just the bottom layer. There is surprisingly a lot of stuff that goes into the Nanaimo bar. This is only that bottom part. If it's too much, it's too much. With the ladybugs, I'm gonna flatten this bottom Ooh. layer to the bottom of my ungreased pan. Hopefully Ooh. this pan isn't too big and I'm stretching this bottom layer too thin. Huh. We're good. Okay, next oh, wow. up. Half a cup of unsalted butter, 40 milliliters of heavy cream. This is custard powder. I needed a vanilla custard powder. This is a just like custard powder without the vanilla. Custard, you know, I said earlier, I don't really understand what custard is, but <laughs> you can make it with a powder and like milk. So that's cool. I wonder, I'm still kind of wondering what it tastes like. I don't know why when I hear custard, I think of mustard. I don't think it tastes like mustard. And I need vanilla, <laughs> so I bought vanilla. And I'll okay. add that in um, later on. And that is all I'll ever need from this. <laughs> Put the cap on, and this is going to stay in the pantry for 100 years. Huh. 
two cups of icing sugar. So wow. we're gonna move on to our second layer, which is like a custard layer. Yeah, So I'm gonna the custard layer. That might be the most unique part of this whole Nanaimo bar experience for me. I don't attribute any kind of flavor to that. I bet a Nanaimo bar would be a very unique experience for me, just based on these flavors. I'm gonna need another bowl. Thank you. Butter. Huh. Oh wow. Nothing but net. Um, so with your trusty granny mixer, hand mixer, right. egg beater, whatever. First I'm gonna cream together the butter. You know, there's just enough steps with this and nothing too terribly diff difficult. I could see how this would be a great activity to do with like the kids or something or the family or whoever. You don't even have to be a master chef to make a good Nanaimo bar. You just got to do it correctly in order. It actually seems kind of fun, like a really fun activity. Add the cream. Oh yeah. Don't worry, it's unplugged. Custard powder. Whoa, that just made it really yellow, didn't it? Huh. Custard. <laughs> Icing sugar. Like a teaspoon of vanilla. So I'm okay. gonna beat this until it's light and fluffy. Huh. What the hell? You guessed it. Add this custard layer onto the bottom layer. So this is the second layer, the custard layer. I thought this whole bar was gonna be very rigid and hard for some reason, but unless he freezes it at the end, this custard layer is actually gonna be pretty soft, right? That's interesting. So because this pan is bigger than what the recipe says, I had to make another half amount of that second layer. Mm. Since I'm gonna add another layer on top, I want these edges cleaned. So bring the Zamboni through. <laughs> okay, so we are on the third layer. This is the final layer of this beast. And... Okay. What was the, what was the top layer again? Any chocolate. Half a cup of semi-sweet oh. chocolate chips mixed with two tablespoons of butter. Yeah. So melt the butter and the chocolate in another double boiler. So I'm gonna okay. let it cool for a second or a minute or two, but it still needs to be um, like a, a liquid enough to pour on top. Right. So. Um, don't let it cool too much. Spread like it evenly this. on top, quickly, quickly, quick. Might be melting the second layer. I'm not 100% sure, huh. but it might be. Currently don't have my offset spatula with me, but if I did, I would be using it right about now. What would happen if you baked it? <laughs> now, now I'm just curious. I keep thinking about how this is a no-bake product, which is very cool, but it, would it just, um, would it explode? <laughs> if you baked it, would something happen? Would it be something completely new? I don't know. I don't know how a lot of cooking works. Mm. Okay, so I want this chilled, so I'm just gonna leave it in the fridge. Um, okay. All until it's chilled. So you, you do chill it, okay. Not too long later. Cut into squares or rectangles. I have absolutely no idea how I'm gonna get this out of the pan. <laughs> right. It is like, in there good. Does anyone, is it like complete blasphemy to take like a spoon and just spoon out a big clump of Nanaimo bar? Not even in bar form. Would that just be crazy? Because I'm tempted to do it. This looks good though. Seriously, this does look good. Uh, not that I want that to happen, uh, but ooh. the thing is, I just need to get the first few out <laughs> and go from there. <laughs> It's gonna oh, break it. Oh, 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 okay, 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 I got some, I got some. Wow. The, to an American who's never seen this, they would just think this is the fanciest little brownie you've ever seen. I think I made enough. Wow. <laughs> that looks filling. That looks filling as heck. There's something just hunky and thick about it. I don't know. It's a thing of beauty. And it looks exactly like all the other ones I've had. Okay. Surprisingly, every single Nanaimo bar I've ever had has been 
tremendous. Oh, maybe huh. it's sunshine. Wow, alive. he's really hyping this up. Like he, he's making me hungry too. Look at that top chocolate layer with that middle custard layer, and then the my personal favorite, which is this bottom layer. It's the okay. layer with the coconut. Oh, Canada. Oh, <laughs> Canada. So I've been enjoying these things all my life, and I'm excited to introduce it to you. And uh, I hope you can enjoy it too. This is the Nanaimo bar. Huh. From Nanaimo. The Nanaimo bar. Who knew? Just me. I didn't know. <laughs> now I know. Again, this is by Anti Chef, and I liked that. I give that a like. That was great. This is so cool. You know, that just seemed like a fun activity. I don't cook or anything, but that, or bake, although this is no bake. But this just seemed like a fun activity to make a very delicious looking product. And it's rare that you can say like that you've created and get to try something that you've never tried ever before. That's so popular in another country, from my point of view, Canada. So this was great. Even just learning about it, like what it is and where it's from was fascinating to me. And uh, it looked good. I think I understand the hype. Anyway, uh, I enjoyed this. If you enjoyed this as well, feel free to give this video a like or leave a comment. And if you're interested in more videos like this, me reacting to Canada, Canadian culture, stuff about Canada that I've never learned before, feel free to subscribe for more. And until then, thanks for watching and see you next time.